Start. 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 Welcome gamers to our twisted reality. E3 was not OP, says you and me. Joystick. The Joystick Show. Okay, back at it here. Huh? On our monthly cast that we look forward to uh, getting down, we got everybody out of the studio. Our, our makeshift. Our studio converted into guest room, converted into VR room, converted into everything. Game room. Right? Game holder room, storage room. Exactly. So everybody's out, mm. and the gaming's back in. This is, you know, this is where I have my uh, my PC, too, so I can finally uh. get back into a little tabletop simulation. Yep. Good times, huh? Welcome, Rumble Pack, back to the uh, Joystick uh, Podcast. We are a father and son combo. First time checking us out. We appreciate you. Just by listening, you are now anointed a fellow Rumble Packer, right? We appreciate you listening. Uh, if you want to be a part of our show, uh, if you're new and want to uh, provide us some uh, questions, comments, or sarcastic remarks, we love them all. How do they get a hold of us? You can get a hold of us at joystick underscore show on Twitter, joystickshow.com, our website, joystickshow at gmail.com, or our Discord at joystick space show. All right, and we respond back on one-on-ones too if you have questions and so forth as we go through. All right, let's jump into it as as always with our uh, generational gapper differences on gaming. We got a lot to talk about uh, today. Actually, not a lot, but pretty straightforward stuff uh, coming off of E3. Right between mm. the last time we were on, we've uh, followed along on a lot of it and was pretty excited. But we can talk about it. But first, our sponsor for the show is. Sensational Gaming. The solar-powered controllers you never need batteries for. Just place them on your windowsill, and after five hours of sunlight, you are back powered up for a nighttime of gaming. Just $179.95 per controller gets yours today. Visit sensationalgaming.save.earth.com and order yours today. So expensive. Huh? That's what do you mean expensive? I just got uh, for the old uh, uh, Father's Day gift, right? Or no, birthday gift. One of those two. I got the uh, what is that thing called from H Bomb? The um, something Elite Controller. Elite Controller Two is it? That's it's still pretty expensive. One hundred seventy nine dollars can get you a lot of batteries. I can. I can. But level. not like the controller I have now that has more buttons on it than I know what to do with underneath mm-hmm. and around. It feels good in the hands. Yeah. Uh huh. Have you tried it? Have you played it? No, I tried. Um, H bomb for like a few minutes, but yeah, I haven't. Really... I know you're not a console gamer normally, so you don't care. No. You're the foo foo H, you know, high end graphics card gamer. I like it. I like console. Yeah. I like, but I don't know. I, I feel well a I, lot it, more. It works really well on my new uh, Series X. Oh wait, mm. wait, what's going on with that? I'm no, sorry. no, ask the bots. Huh? Ask the bots. The bots? The online bots. The bots are uh, still picking up, what, 650 bucks right now is where, where the, no. uh, the Xboxes are you at. You can't even get them that low. Come on. No, all of them on um, eBay and everything are still going for I can for still find them on offer up on You just got to drive and pick it up. 750. 650. 650 is so much more. I'm not paying an extra 150. That's not happening. All right. We're waiting. All right. I will pay, and at the very most... An extra. So now Dad, Dad knows where his love is. The level of his love. Where no. it's at on that. Okay, I'm good with it. A hundred, no. Yeah. <laughs> That's all. I'm still playing when I can. I barely get a chance to play. I'm still playing, uh, well, let's talk about it, the gaming front, right? So I'm still playing GTA where I can. Yeah. Um, here and there. I finally got my apartment and I got my killer ride. Two rides, actually. I got a great matte black uh, convertible car that I got and I have a cruiser motorcycle in my uh in my garage. I'm loving it, right? And I'm all doing it on my new controller out there. I'm moving through right through the streets, like amazing now. Mm. Yeah, I never got into GTA, but it seems fun. Yeah, it's really good. We're doing, I'm still doing all those extra uh, races. There's all these cool races on Mm -hmm. it. There's like, the mini games or the the jobs. Yep. But have you ever gotten or like, 
Are you rich yet? Have you done a lot of heists? Eh, not a lot. No, I haven't got so deep into it where I'm in like the bowels of some uh, arcade basement and mm. uh, working out plans on it. But we're doing a lot of running around, doing a lot of stuff like that. I can't go, I can't horse race that or bet. That's for dang sure. Every time I lay it down, I dropped ten thou one time on a yeah. horse trying to get it. Nothing, zero. Did yeah. you? I think it came in second from last. Wow. Yeah, it was brutal. Anyway, so uh, GTA is what I've been playing. Uh, continuing a few, uh, actually a few. Um, uh, what is it, mobile games as well. I picked up a very cool game. Like I said, if you had time to actually go through it, it's, um, I'm trying to think of the actual name of it as it, it comes up here. It's like Conquer World, so if you go online, you can check it out. It doesn't want to, uh, it's by Dorado Games, and it is called, drum roll, no, it's not even giving me that. It, look, it just froze up when I'm sitting here trying to sound uh, like I'm cool. Right here. What is that called? I have no idea. That's called Conflict of... I don't know. Conflict of something or another. It's got three lines. It looks like uh, three. Roman numeral three. Um, like a Call of Duty? Scene yeah. It, well, no. It's it's more of a um, like a strategy game where you, you know, like tell, build up your... Account. The cool thing was that it's basically uh, set in the future that the United States has its own separate... Uh, states or its own countries yeah. almost like you know like certain groupings and then it also conflicts with like Mexico and a few other places so you're just mm. you know creating your normal uh, troops movements and your ships yeah. if you're on the coast and stuff like that so it's uh, kind of a cool game I'll try mm. to get it before the end uh, so that's what I'm doing I'm playing along what do you got going on um well I found I found a new style of game well for one I'm playing a lot of Apex because I feel like Apex is um out of all the, out of all the the battle royale games and like um, online games that you get in and you play and then you die and then you go back in, yeah, everything like that, like all the battle royales, I feel like Apex is the most skill based. Where you, there's nothing in the game that's really insanely overpowered, right? That, like that you, overkill and like, yeah, uh, like that's just it's something that like the game needs to nerf or whatever. Mm -hmm. There's not a lot of that in the game. It's it's all based on your now, skill. that game came out, like, what, two years ago for a little uh, bit, and it died off fast, didn't it? Come up for a little no, bit yeah, and it, died off? It died off for a little bit, but now it's it's back up. Like, it has a lot of players, like, millions of players still. Okay. Um, but it's uh, still... Yeah, no, it's definitely not dead, nor near dead, but um, the, I just like the game a lot because That's cool. if you're, like, half decent at it, you can have a lot of fun at it because right. it's just it's all skill based. Where as there's like one thing in the game right now that's pretty good, and the only reason it's really good is because it can it's a gun that can hold so much ammo mm -hmm. that somebody can miss like thirty shots and still kill you. Wow. Um, but it that the thing about that it's the only thing that's overpowered. But you could just hit your shots and then you win the fight. Well, I mean, so, I have to, you'd have to admit though. I mean, as far as skill level goes, like um, even. Um, uh, Fortnite mm -hmm. is a skill-based game, right? I mean, because I watch you and all, it's all these guys like how they can turn and put walls up in a second when they're fighting. No, but and, it's and everything, isn't that? I mean, that takes skill to do that. Yeah, it takes skill to do that. But the the reason that it's it's like did I say Apex isn't this way is that in Fortnite, let's say you're really good at it, you can still die really easily to um, somebody breaking down your builds and then you die, or or a right. weapon that they come out with that they do this a lot, a weapon that's so good. That like you can it's hard to defend against. Once yeah, somebody has it in the um, battle royale. Yeah. yeah, and so it's stuff and like is that. Is this a battle royale too? The Apex? Apex is yeah. Okay, gotcha. Um, so I've been playing that. Another thing is that I found like a new style of game that's really fun. It's like survival, but um. Oh, uh, that's surprising. It's like survival, but <laughs> it's you. it's more it's got like a um a kind of uh, a different aspect to it where it's I'm trying to think of a game that's like it. Um, I don't know, but the, the style of game is called roguelike. Okay. A roguelike game. Okay. And basically what it is, is you, you start up the game, you get as far as you can with waves, and then you die. Almost like zombies. Yeah. And you start completely over. Okay. But with roguelike, so the game I'm playing, it's a free game, it's called Muck. Somebody made it, they spent like, it, it's, uh, this famous guy who made the game, and, um, and based off of uh, this other game called Risk of Rain that he wanted to make a game off of. Okay. And basically what it is, you get in, it starts like survival. You pick up a rock, you break a tree, you get all this stuff. But after you get basic stuff, you start um, killing enemies that give you coins. And you use the coins to open chests. 
and the chests give you abilities, and the abilities stack. Mm -hmm. So at the top right of your screen, you see all these abilities, and they all do different little things that buff you. And the longer you go, the better you get, the better the so monsters get. So how long can a game be, though? These games waves? could be... Because um, they're slower waves or something, maybe? Yeah, but games could go on infinitely. They can go on for days. Oh, if you're because that good. you because stack up getting better. You stack up, you get better, you get better. Yeah. And Do the waves take... get harder or no? Like more guys or um, like yeah. other games? Yeah. So yeah. the way the the longer you go, the guys get a little harder, but you also get a lot better. Yeah. Um, and and yeah, you could go on forever, but that's like, but then when you die, you start all over from gotcha. the beginning. Oof. So I don't know it's, about that. it's I I find them that's really what's frustrating fun. about Rust. I mean, you get going, all of a sudden you kick and butt, you're running. Yeah, Rust's a little different. All of a sudden somebody but... shoots you out of nowhere and dead. Well, you never got a base down, did you? Yeah, I did. We did. Well, once you get that, you lock it up. It rusts a little bit. Wait, is it rust? Is that the game I'm thinking of where you go on and. Uh... You probably. Maybe. No, what's the one that you have to use the app on? Oh, Daisy. Date. Daisy. No, not Daisy. Is it Daisy? Yeah. You had to use the app for the map? Oh, yes, that's it. Daisy. That's the one yeah. I'm talking about. Not the, not rust. Daisy. That's where you had to you know, run around. Next thing you know, you die yeah. from a headshot from somebody you never saw mm. after spending like hours running around for no reason. Mm -hmm. you do that. So it's not like that. No. Okay, no. Good. So you, you continue to advance. I find them really fun. That's what I'm playing. Nice. Um, and yeah. Okay. And by the way, the name of that mobile game, I did find it, was Conflict of Nations World War Three, is what it's called. Mm. So check it out on the mobile um, if you like strategy-based games. Kind of cool. Really good graphics on it too. I like it. So, I mean, it's one of those games, you know, you for free to start off and they'll charge you for every last thing. But um, if you give it time, you don't have to pay for much on it. But that's cool. Good stuff. So, yep. Yeah. Um, cool. All right. So, that's what we're playing. It's now time for the Joystick News Report. Joystick News. And what's in the news? Well, what was in the news this month, all month, was E3, mm -hmm. right? Held the uh, middle of June. And it's the end of June now here on the 27th or 28th. We're recording this. Um, you know, I, I love it because everybody and their mothers, you know, come out with the content, want to talk about it. I let it sit for a little bit and see what's going on, the ones that come that come through that really stand out. And uh, so let's run through a couple of those. I mean, well, we saw uh, folks that are familiar with uh, E3. This was just going to be kind of an overview summary for those that aren't involved in that, checking it out, but like to know. That's what we're here for, to give you kind of an overview of what's to come. Mm -hmm. um, so what are some of the games that we're expecting, looking forward to? I guess the most exciting, um, not just for us, but for everyone, is going to be Halo Infinite. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, Cause that's, uh, so let's talk about that one. We've already talked, that's due yeah. out when? In, uh, uh, December, I December? think. December? Or November. It's just late. I, I right. still don't think they have a release date. It's just late 21. Right. And so the big thing is, I know we always talk about the, the Game Pass, right, as being the deal of the week. We might as well get yep. rid of that deal of the week and just start putting like Game, game Pass, pass of the week or Game Pass of the month or something. You yeah. know what I mean? That's um, crazy. Because every game, every game they announced at E3. Yeah. Or at least the Xbox E3 yeah. is on Xbox Game Pass, except for I believe Battlefield. Battlefield. Yeah, right. And we'll talk about that one too. So Halo Infinite due out. The biggest one though, and I watch over and over, and all these people talking, and it's interesting. I don't know why. Maybe it's just if you're an RPG MMO mm -hmm. fan or whatever, is uh, Elden Ring. Yeah, I, I don't know much about it. Yeah, I mean, it looks like it's just kind of like in the next evolution, even though the evolution is not huge, right? It's kind of like baby steps, but mm -hmm. graphics are a little better. It's an RPG, creature guy, you know what I mean? Uh, my neighbor that plays all the time loves the Conan. I've been trying to get on that. Conan Exiles, Exiles is really good. I've been trying to get on I actually downloaded it. I haven't been able to jump on, yeah. just guess, but I'll be on this uh, before our next show talking about it. I got it. I downloaded it on the Xbox for you. So. Yeah, um, so we'll look at that. But anyways, Elden Ring seems to be like that big, uh, massive... Uh, you know, play that uh, with a lot more options and beautiful, I do have to admit, beautiful graphics, which, mm. again, we can say that in almost all games now, right? Yeah. In regards to what's happening, but what else? Uh, let's see, Breath of the Wild 2 for Switch. They announced, they added a, a tiny bit more uh, uh, gameplay to it yeah. to show it off, and I believe the release date is uh, next year next sometime, year sometime. I, think. I think. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, that looks really good. Right. Um, and people are really excited for that one. Um, a big one is the Mario and Rabbids. This game, I don't, I never played it. I never got into it. I know this franchise of games is like really good though. Yeah. Or people the really Spark like of it. Hope, it's called. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, well, I saw some of the some graphics on it as well. I mean, to me, it's almost like a, uh, not a reset, but, uh, certainly 
a little different take. I don't know if it's third person. Um, it certainly isn't two dimensional, right? I mean, they're taking advantage of the graphics on that too. Yeah. But I'm, I'm assuming that's going to be Nintendo based, right? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But uh, for the graphics I saw, I'm like, what? That what's 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 Nintendo have out right now, console wise, that could play that kind of graphics? Switch. The Switch. You think it's the Switch? Mm -hmm. Yeah. A hundred percent. Okay. Um, I don't know. I saw the Switch Lite. Um, that was uh, we talked about that a little bit. Saw some good deals on that, by the way. But um, all right, the other couple things. Uh, Forza uh, Horizon Five. Right? Forza Horizon Five. Did you see the graphics on that? Yeah, sick. It's insane. Well, that's the thing because we have actually a, um, a deal of the week. I don't know if it's still available or not by the time this hits because I looked at it a couple mm -hmm. days ago. But um, we'll talk about that as well for Forza. And then last, but certainly not least. You mentioned it a minute ago. Battlefield 2042. Yeah. Unbelievable. Did you see that we just saw the trailer Yeah, the trailer it? was really good. Let me tell good. you what, Rumble Pat, you got to check the trailer out. I'm going to tell you, it's probably the most entertaining trailer I've seen. And that says a I, lot. I've it seen is, hundreds yeah. and hundreds and hundreds of uh, trailers in my it's day. It's very good, yeah. Huh? It makes you want to play it. I like it better than the gameplay trailer. Yeah. But, um... For sure. But, yeah, um... Kudos to whoever put that together, because that's insane. Yeah, I love Battlefield games. I, I think, I like the idea of, like, because in Call of Duty, you get into a multiplayer game, and there's 16 of you, and you're all running Scott. around. You're, yeah, you're running around, you're finding people, you're jumping out in the open, sliding, killing them. Right. Where Battlefield, it's a genuine, it's, like, genuinely a warfare. Right. Where you have teams, you'll you'll see yourself, you'll be have, like, three teammates next to you fighting other three teammates, and then you see cars going past you of other people fighting others, and in the sky there's airplanes, and then a building comes down, <laughs> and it's a whole new battlefield. Right. I, I, I love that. That's sick. Especially yeah. if, like, you can take advantage of environments like that. Imagine mm -hmm. if you could shoot out a building, right, and have it drop on other people. Do you know what yeah. I mean? How cool would that be? They had that in the old games. Or not exactly shoot out a building, but... Um, I'm saying take down a building. Like, no, you can. No, yeah. in, like, Battlefield 4, I think it was, yeah. one of the maps... Um, after a while, like you would, after a while, the game had or the maps had phases. Yeah. And you start the map, the whole city was intact, and then as you went along, things changed. Or like the building, the whole building would just come down, and instead of people fighting on top of the building right. and everything, yeah, there would just be all this like um, chaos. What's right. the word? All this like rubble, rubble on yeah. the ground of the building. It's just a massive warfare, and then everyone's on the ground. Um, and That's something happened cool. in the ocean. But think about it in real time, though. As you're battling, and mm -hmm. all of a sudden you see like, the shadow. Cool. All of a sudden, like, what's going on? You look up. No, you stick up running, but don't make it in time. Yeah. Dead. Right? And have to respawn or something. That, that would, would be, be hilarious. Really cool. That would be awesome. So, yeah. Uh, check it out. Battlefield uh, When's that coming out? October? And, of course, I can see why that's the only thing not on Game Pass. Because you're going uh -huh. to have to buy that bad boy. Yeah. I know. I'm going to have to probably drop some coin there on it mm -hmm. that looks really good so and that's coming out what do they say that's next year too i think right no it's this year is it this year is yeah it? it might be october oh no you're right they said it's actually sooner than later right i was i think it was october um it was either october or november or december it's late 2021 2021 okay yeah so um yeah so uh, that's gonna be really good but um and a lot of other i don't want to say smaller games because some people might think they're a lot better than the ones that we mentioned. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, there's... Oh, yeah, a, was, October's right around the corner. Yeah. Yeah, October um, 22nd, actually, they said. Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, right. Looks really good. So, the best way to compare it, and even if you go on Steam and you wishlist the game and it says games similar that you played, the, that you, why reason you might like the game, it right. shows um, Jedi Fallen Order. And I love that uh, game. Yes, it's single it player you go through. Right. If it's anything like that, yeah. I don't know. I'll really like it. Yeah. I definitely think I want to get that. So that would be good, and you'd probably play each one of the characters or something, right? You can't. Yeah. Actually, Star the game... Star-Lord, right? Yeah, the game said you're only Star-Lord. Okay. But I think you... So there's Who still doesn't the... look like uh, Pratt by any, any stretch yeah. of imagination? Yeah. None anyways. of them look like they do in the movies, but... Yeah. um. But, yeah, I, I think you should be able to manipulate the other characters a little bit. Yeah. But you mainly, you play through Star-Lord. Nice. So. That's awesome. So let's just run down through so some of the uh, recognition, just to kind of do a synopsis of everything. Uh, these are the kind of like the winners or the standouts on it. So for uh, Ubisoft, 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 yeah. most anticipated game is, of course, Mario and Rabbids uh, that we just talked about. Gearbox, most anticipated game is Tiny Tina's Wonderland. 
Borderlands. Now that, that is pretty good. Now that one's interesting because that's the one that says they're taking off from Borderlands. So if you play Borderlands one, two, three, or whatever, I guess by the comedy they are right. Well, no, they said it's just like an extension of that mm. somehow. So, but they said there's a little more. Uh, yeah, right. They say comedy like yeah. there's a lot. Oh, because there's a lot more actors. That, yeah. So you'll you'll hear their voice and uh, reference. So I guess they dropped a lot of coin into. Uh, um, actors as far as using their voices into the game. Xbox and Bethesda's most anticipated game, Hello, Halo, in, uh, Infinite. Um, Square Enix, uh, what is it, most anticipated games, Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy, they're doing that. Uh -huh. Is it Enix? Square Enix. Enix. Yeah. Uh, PC gaming show, most anticipated game is Songs of Conquest. Not sure on that mm. one. Future games, uh, future games show most anticipated game is Immortality. Is a game coming out. Um, television's most anticipated game, Dolphin Quest. Uh, mythical Games, most anticipated game. Uh, don't even have it there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the indie, uh, the, actually, the most anticipated indie game is Falling uh, Frontier. Freedom Games, most anticipated game is Airborne Kingdom. Hmm. Capcom, right? I love my Capcom. Good folks. Most anticipated game is The Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. Dang, I'll have to look that one up. We should have done that for the show. Nintendo's most anticipated game is uh, Breath of the Wild 2 we talked about. Most anticipated uh, Eureka, Eureka Studio Games is Loot Mancer. Uh, best presentation, of course, Xbox and Bethesda's. And most anticipated game overall, overall, Forza, Forza, Horizon. Forza Horizon 5. Most anticipated of all Overall? Of them. Really? Yeah. I thought that was I, did you Have you seen the graphics though? Because yeah. Yep. That game looks crazy. It's like they have um it's like they have almost like a really high quality GoPro behind someone's car in real life and it's going through. And like when it rains, you saw the game when it was raining and there was puddles on the ground. Yeah. And it, it just looks it affects crazy. The whole car and everything I bet too. Yeah, it just looks insane. Yeah. Well, I played Forza One. That tells you how old I am. We're at Forza mm. Five. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's Forza Horizon 5. They're at, like, Forza 7. Oh, are they? On, like, the racing game. Oh, my god! And they've made 5 Horizon, which are open-world games. I remember back when I had my Xbox and my, my pedals for the Xbox. Uh -huh. We Forza 1 and you and your brother all naked laying there on the ground. And come uh -huh. running out, diapers just thrown everywhere. Probably, was that Horizon? Probably was that? crap. Forza? Huh? That was Forza? Uh, yeah. Where we had the wheel that yeah, we drive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was I think it was original Forza, if not Forza 2. But... Yes, sir! So that's good huh. stuff. So yeah, that's what's anticipated. E3. So obviously no Sony, no conversation for uh, MP uh, for uh, PlayStation 5 or anything. Mm, uh, nope. They decided not to partake again. Um, so they'll have their own. And we'll try to cover that um, when they come clean with what's cooking with them as well. So all right. Anything else? Uh, that's about it for all the right. news. That's the news. This concludes your joystick news report. Joystick news. Okay. So uh, riff. Riff rap. Yep. What do we have? Anything at all? I have not much. It still sits over here. Look at the dust. Look at yeah. look at that dust on that bad boy. Um, I'm telling you, not much that I see. I do want to actually hop back on what? Blade and Sorcery. I talked about it a lot. Blade and Sorcery is a fun game. Uh, it's like where you battle people in VR. I've played it. Yeah. But I want to hop back on because I've gotten mods for the game where you can get a lot of cool stuff. And I've seen them add, the community has added a lot of really cool mods that you can try out. Okay. Um, and I want to get back on and try them. How hard is it to download a mod or put a mod on? It's not that hard. You just have to, like, like in Steam, if you go to the game options, you can open up a file for the game. And then you go to the, the popular mod download website, you download it, and you drag it on the... Okay, I might have, have you do that for me because I'm doing a lot of uh, Dice Throne, which uh -huh. is a great board game, and they make a lot of mods with new characters. And they oh, say, really? they just post it, but I'm like, well, the, the game's not here. How do I play with somebody? Wait, is Dice Throne Steam, or is yeah. it on... Yeah, it's Tabletop Simulator. Oh. So they I make, okay. you know what I mean? They make the uh, the the mods in Tabletop Simulator, mm. and then you can supposed to be able to add them or play them. So that might be a little different, but yeah. I'll try. Yeah, we'll have to try it out and see. Uh, but no, I appreciate that. Okay, so uh, that's really it, right? Yeah. For the, for the riffraff. Okay. Deal of the week. All right, so let's talk uh, deal of thy week, um, or we should say deal of the month. Now you need to change it. Deal of the month. Just change it. Deal of the month. No, um, actually, uh, we talked about Forza, right? Horizon Five. They actually have a G. Maybe it's because of this, but Gnet. When is the Forza Five coming out? Horizon. Did we know when that is? Um. When did we? Uh, when did? What did it say on that release date for Forza? 5? I don't know. You don't know. 
Because I, I think it was, um, what does it say here? November 9th of 2021, start accessing. So November, they're talking about it huh. as a release. So, but here's the interesting thing. Right now, G923 Racing Wheel and Pedals for Xbox Series X, $299 for Forza 5. You can That's get pretty it. cheap, actually. Yeah, at GameStop. It's normally like 350 Yeah. So I'm thinking, you know what? If you're really in it to win it with that, you want the best that's out there. Uh, or one of the uh, better um, models, but at a, at a, I say affordable price, I don't know, 300 bucks, it's almost, uh, you know, that's almost half an Xbox Series X. <laughs> yeah. Right? But if you're uh, playing that game, you're going to want that. Uh, shoot, I want that just for uh, GTA. Yeah. Playing yeah, that, yeah, I, yeah. you know what I mean? Trying that, it would be a lot of fun too. Versus yeah, but then, no, that would be really cool for Forza 5. Yeah, to be able to yeah. uh, pick that up. So, um, so then we have uh, new releases, right, coming up. Uh, GameSpot. Now, again, we went back to this GameSpot. There is not... Somebody needs to make a good website that does nothing but just focus on new releases, right? With some yeah. accurate information or at well, least the, update it. Yeah, the one we have with... um, with uh, Was it GameSpot? Yeah, GameSpot, right? Uh, yeah, the one... No, is it Game... I forget. Um, The one we normally go to has a lot. It includes the indie games, too, as well. Right. So it kind of hits every spot. Yeah. But it can be a little finicky, so... Oh, a little. You mean a lot finicky on it, for sure. Mm. So I tried different things. There's, like, Game Facts, and there's a few um, ones that are out there, but I couldn't really find anything that was, uh, you know, decent. I hate to just give, you know, don't want to give bad information mm. um, on what's going on, but I just always... Uh, Curious if anybody knows in the Rumble Pack out there of a place that you go that you really do like to see uh, as far as like new releases and that you think you know that they actually are legit and aren't changing things up every you know two seconds. Yep. Um, on it, please uh, send us a uh, an email. Mm -hmm. uh, which, by the way, once it's good timing, how do how do they contact us for that? Because I am. Looking you can for email that. us with that information for uh, at joystick um, show at gmail .com, or you can go through our Discord. Add Joystick Space Show, our Twitter, um, Joystick underscore show, and um, yeah, and our website, joystickshow.com. Yeah, either way, you'll find us somewhere. So if anybody has any uh, suggestions on that, we'd appreciate it. So especially we can uh, uh, get you some accurate info as we go through for the rest of the Rumble Pack that doesn't go in and that looks to us for the sheer knowledge once a month. <laughs> yeah. Right? No. All right. That's it. That's the show, right? Anything else cooking? I do not believe so. All right, very good. We appreciate you listening, folks. Try to kick back in now that we kicked everybody out of the house, right? Yep. Less guests, more time to uh, do some uh, research, jump on back here in the studio and uh, get content out. So um, we do appreciate you listening each and every time we uh, post to the Rumble Pack. Until next time, game on. <laughs> the Joystick Show.